Big changes are coming to the Des Moines Community Playhouse. It re recently began renovations on the Kate Goldman's Children's uh, Theater there. So Local 5's Larissa Millis live at the Playhouse this morning with its executive director to talk more about these changes and all that comes with it, Larissa. All exciting news. Yeah, good morning. The very exciting news here at the theater for staff, for patrons, for performers, really everybody that is involved here and, and likes to come to this space. And with me this morning is Executive Director David Kilpatrick. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Welcome. So we've been talking about some of the different projects going on here in the, th in the theater, costume shop, different things like that. But you've also been talking to me about how a lot of these projects are going to impact accessibility to theater. Can you tell me a little bit more about what you mean by that? Sure. Of course, our goal is to serve the whole community, and that means everybody. And so things like, of course, the simple mobile accessibility is important. But what about hearing accessibility, the Bluetooth, the answers to is people can have hearing aids and, and be able to hear and see? All these things are very important to us, and so we want to make sure we serve everyone. And how does that impact the overall arts community in Des Moines? Do you hope that that in, influences other art organizations to you know, kind of follow suit? Well, art should be appreciated by everyone and should be accessible by everyone. And so we're hoping we give some insights and others will say, hey, let's follow suit and do the same thing. It's important. And this space is traditionally the children's theater, but you mentioned with this renovation, it's going to kind of open up some other performance opportunities. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure. For the longest time, we only told children's stories, but there's a lot of stories out there in this world that we'd like to share. And so this space with the adaptability of the seating and the adaptability of the performers will allow us to tell virtually virtually any story. Very, very exciting. I'm certainly looking forward to when this is all going to be finished and coming and checking out some shows here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. And Larissa, I know you were there uh, when they actually broke ground. What was that like? What was that environment like? Well, so originally they were going to have an event where people could come with a sledgehammer and kind of smash into the ground, but we were talking and they were saying even with some safety goggles and some construction helmets, it just wasn't fully the best idea to have just anybody <laughs> with a sledgehammer. So it was more of a ceremonial cement breaking on Monday, but still lots of exciting construction going on in here. <laughs> Yeah, and Brandon, I know you said that uh, you covered when yeah. last time they did some renovations too, so it's good to see the growth uh, right. continuing. Yeah, they've made so many great changes over the years, and Larissa, I will say, if you have not been to a show there, you absolutely should check it out. They do some pretty incredible work. Yeah. All right, thank you, Larissa. I well, definitely need to, for sure. Yeah, thank you, Larissa. <laughs> and we'll have this story on weareiowa.com uh, as well.